The literacy standards state that students gather information from relevant sources. And initially, the teacher might provide sources that are relevant, but eventually students need to be able to deem their relevancy on their own. Be prepared to give students an explicit definition. And for me, that means it meets three criteria. The first is that it's credible. The source is verifiable. Others are corroborating the information. You can find that information in other texts. If the source is a person, then that person is credible. Others are referencing them. They're validating their expertise. In addition to the source being credible, we also want to make sure it's accurate. Yeah, we want to make sure the information is not false. But more than that, we want to make sure that it's completely true and not misleading in any way. It's not omitting anything. It's accurate. In addition to timely, the information has to be current, not outdated. And the third criteria is that it is relevant. And what I mean by that is it's on point. It addresses your thesis statement. The information you found answers your question. It goes with what you're looking for. The opposite of relevant is that it's irrelevant. It might be credible and accurate in its information, but it doesn't go with what you're looking for. Thus, it's an irrelevant source. It doesn't have information that's helpful. When introducing students to the characteristics of a strong source, I'll teach students the CAR acronym. It is credible in that other sources corroborate or repeat the information. It is accurate in that it is current, timely, and completely true. And it is relevant in that it supports the topic you are researching. For me, a relevant source meets all three of these facets. And that's why I love the CAR acronym.